Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Joy, and today I'm going to show you how to make a um, scallop beef casserole. So it should be pretty good. Barefooted. Oh, yeah, barefooted, as always. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to start with, you can use a 9 by 13 pan, but I'm using my cast iron, so there you go. Okay, so what I did was I put some butter in the bottom of the pan. You have to start to be with. long about, stockings. About, shut up, about half a stick of butter. And so once you do that, then what you're going to do is, I took the potatoes, and this is uh, four small uh, Yukon Gold potatoes, I think they are. Um, and I rinsed them really good to get all the starch out of them. And then you want to just kind of dump them on a paper towel, maybe, and uh, dry them a little bit more. That's all. They don't have to be real dry, but just a little Ooh. bit dry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I can't help it. She gonna, did it, not me. Then you're going to take your potatoes and you're just going to layer them in your pan. And these are, I sliced these on my new mandolin, which I absolutely love. But you can slice them with a knife too. Just try to get them as thin as possible because they will cook better that way. They'll cook down better that way. Really, Scott? Well, you they got to have some sound effects in this video. Do you say Otherwise, it'd be boring. I'm telling y'all, he saves that just for my videos. Yes, he does. Oh, look. Yeah. Oh. So, we're, <laughs> I'm layering the potatoes in the bottom of the pan, just like that. Okay. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. This takes a little bit, but, you know, you can be creative with it. Just kind of spread them out in the pan. That's all you got to do. So, we'll bring this process up a little bit, maybe. All right. Just cover the bottom of the pan whatever size pan you're using. So if you're making a smaller amount for just a few people or <laughs> even one person, you don't need to, you don't need that many. As long as it covers the bottom of the pan, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. So, and then you're just gonna layer them, like I said, like that. Okay. There oh, these are from California, just so y'all know. What? The Yukon Gold. Yeah, these are from California. So for all my California friends, yeah, thank there you. you go. We're using your potatoes. Okay, then you're then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna put your I made some uh, a pound of hamburger and half of a yellow onion. You can use any kind of onion you want. And if you want more onion, go ahead and do that. But it's a pound of hamburger and I ground I browned it and drained it off. So I'm just gonna put that on top of the potatoes. Okay, just kind of scattered around. Alright. This is how we make scallop potatoes. Yeah. It's a one pot meal and it's really, everybody loves it. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty edible. Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Okay. You got Pippi Longstockings doing it. <laughs> without her apron on. I know, without my apron yet again. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so, I've got my hamburger on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, um, I'm going to make my... Uh, sauce for it. So it's a cup of milk. It's Hope she don't use no flour. No, I'm not. Or using. she'll be a Miss Rita. <laughs> I'm not using flour. And it's about a cup of uh, mayonnaise. Okay. You can use Miracle Whip too if you prefer. You can, but it's, it's, too, not it's as... awfully sweet. So then yeah. you're going to add about half a cup of sour cream. Okay, maybe that's a little bit more, but not much. All right. And then we're going to use this ranch seasoning, which is really good. Um, it comes, it also comes in the, these packs. Okay. So if you want to, if you want, if you can buy the, every store has these. Okay. Not everybody has this yet, but it takes one of these or you can use this and it'd be about the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the pack. Because then I don't have to measure it and all that stuff. Okay. If I, did I open it? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. There yeah, I got the biggest knife you got to open that little well, tiny the package. knife was already sitting here and it was clean, so I used it. Get over it. Okay, so anyway, so you're going to put a ranch, a pack of the ranch seasoning in there. All right. And you're just oh. going to mix all that together. Takes just a second. 
With your Where's your whisker thing? Here's my whisker here. Oh. That's what I'm using. All right, you're lucky. You can also use a fork if you don't have a whisk. You know, some people don't, but I do, so. All right, now don't splatter it all over the kitchen like Miss Rita does. Oh, you know, you need to quit picking on her. Why? Because she does a wonderful job. She does. She does a great job. That's why I pick on her. <laughs> okay, there we go. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pour some of the sauce over the top of the potatoes and the hamburger. All right, like that. And then you're going to save some of the sauce for the top of everything else. Mm. Okay. Then once you got that down there, you're going to put some cheese on it, which I'm using the Fiesta blend cheese. But you could, I you can certainly shred your own, which I have cheese in there to shred, but I had this bag left over from when we had tacos, so I'm using it. But you can use whatever kind of cheese you want, you know. But this is a nice blend of cheeses, so, and it melts pretty good, so. I know they say Hope that, you wash your hands after you went to the toilet. Well, of course I did. I always wash my hands before I start cooking. Everybody knows that. I didn't see it. Well, that's because you're busy yapping with Bubba. No, I was playing with the puppies. Okay, or you're always busy doing something. Okay, so then we put your first layer of cheese, okay? And then what we're going to do is I've got some chopped spinach here, some fresh spinach. Mm -mm. Um, you can use canned, but boy, you better drain it really well. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of water in here, and it's yeah. it's not good. It's better if you have fresh spinach, okay? I just It just tastes better, and it doesn't water your dish down too much. Okay, so then this we're gonna spot is we're going to put some more of the sauce on top of that. The rest of it, actually. On top of that. Okay. And we want to get the spoon out here. Get all the good stuff out. There we go. Okay. So that is your sauce. Oh, and it smells really good. So I just kind of spread it around a little bit on the top layer because you want to try to. That's a pretty good idea. Make it even a little bit more. So, mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, did you have your tongue held up on the right side? I did. Yes, I did. And then you're gonna put some more cheese on it because you you know the rule in our house is you just can't have too much cheese. You cannot, especially in something like this. It's really, it just makes it good. It, it does. It makes it really good. So. See, I taught her well, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you did. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, well, we're just going to do that. There you go. Ta-da! <laughs> that, that, time. That, that's fancy bacon there now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it like the fancy shows do. And then on the very top, we're going to put some chopped... Green onions. Hmm. Okay, that just makes it pretty. And it adds a little... Well, I didn't teach her this trick. And it adds a little bit more flavor to it. So, so this is something... This is Joy's trick, yeah, not this mine. Is, this is Joy's doing. So yeah. There you go. So that's... Uh, I think that's three pretty large green onions chopped. But you could do four if you wanted. Okay. You eat if you want it. <laughs> or, yeah, you can do however many you want. Yeah, you right, on, you need. So then it goes in the oven at 350 for about 40, 45 minutes, and it should be done. And you that, got your oven set? No, not yet. I'm going to stick it in there in a few minutes. But oh. that it's really good, guys, and it's really super easy. And like I said, the sauce, or the, yeah, the sauce for it is, is pretty simple to make, you know? It's not bad. And it's good. You can also use just regular ranch dressing out of the bottle if you have that too. Absolutely. But I think this tastes better. This has a much better flavor if you make it fresh. Uh. And of course, Scott's got a comment. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. like it. Yeah, they like it. Uh, I'm so glad you guys came by to visit with us today. Thank you very much. Yeah, we had a great time. And I'll put the I'll post the finished product pictures on my community page. So. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. We love you guys. Bye. Say bye, Scott. Bye, Scott. Bye, guys. Thanks. Join our big sunflower. <laughs>
Have a great day. Later.